let's have an overview of linear regression it is one of the most basic machine learning algorithm and easy to implement the algorithm has already been used in statistics and is a common process used in many applications of statistics in the real world so what is linear regression by definition it is used for finding a linear relationship between the target and one or more predictors the idea behind linear regression is to fit the observations of two variables into a linear relationship between them in simple terms the task is to draw the line that is best fitting or closest to the points where the x y coordinates are observations of the two variables which are expected to depend linearly on each other in more simpler terms given two variables x and y the model can predict values of y given future observations of x this idea is used to predict variables in countless situations example the outcome of political elections or the behavior of the stock market or the performance of a professional athlete there are two types of linear regression simple and multiple in this video we'll only cover simple linear regression so we had talked about drawing a line that is closest to the points which are our variables this line can be modeled based on a linear equation shown on the slide here x and y are our variables which will be present in the data set the motive of the linear regression algorithm is to find the best values for a0 and a1 which we call the parameters before moving on to the algorithm let's have a look at two important concepts you must know before understanding linear regression the cost function the cost function helps us to figure out the best possible values for a0 and a1 which would provide the best fit line for the data points the difference between the predicted values and the ground truth measures the error difference we square the error difference and sum over all the data points and divide that value by the total number of data points this provides the average squared error over all the data points therefore this cost function is also known as the mean square error by cost i mean the cost of incorrectly predicting a data point or how far the line is from the point mathematically we find the mean distance between all the points and we want to minimize that distance so that the line fits the data perfectly to minimize the cost function we use a technique called gradient descent the next important concept needed to know linear regression is gradient descent gradient descent is a method of updating a0 and a1 to reduce the cost function the idea is that we start with some values of a0 and a1 and then we change these values iteratively to reduce the cost gradient descent helps us how to change the values to update a0 and a1 we take gradients from the cost function to find these gradients we take partial derivatives with respect to a0 and a1 now to understand how partial derivatives work you would require some calculus but if you don't it is all right you can take it as it is the partial derivatives are the gradients and they are used to update the values of a0 and a1 alpha is the learning rate here which is a hyperparameter that you must specify a small learning rate could get you closer to the minima but takes more time to reach the minima a larger learning rate converges sooner but there is a chance that you could overshoot the minima this can be depicted on the slide to implement the algorithm we have two choices we can use the scikit learn library to import the linear regression model and use it directly or we can write our own regression based model based on the equations above we'll talk about the implementation of linear regression using scikit learn in this video we'll implement linear regression using the scikit learn library to learn more about what is linear regression you can check out the link to the video in the description the entire code and the data set can be downloaded using the link in the description which will direct you to this github page after this download the data directory and store that in your projects folder let's start with the implementation i'm using a jupyter notebook here but you can implement the same in a single python file as well first we start with importing all the libraries and the dependencies that are required we need the pandas library to manipulate the data set
Next, we, need, we import the matplotlib library to visualize our data and the results. We use the pyplot here. And lastly, we need the linear regression model from the scikit-learn library, which is the main dependency. So from sklearn dot linear model, we import the linear regression class. Now we start with reading our data into the code using pandas. Make sure that the data directory is in the projects folder. We use the read CSV function here because our data is in the CSV format. We move inside our data directory and use the advertising data set. Let's just check if the spelling is right. And yes, that should be good. Now, to see what the data looks like, we use the head function, which is data.head. As you can see here, the column unnamed 0 is redundant and hence we need to remove it. To remove a column, we can use the drop function in pandas. We have to remove the unnamed column, unnamed 0, and we specify the axis equal to 1. Here, axis is equal to 1 to remove the entire column and the axis is equal to 0 to remove only an index. As you can see in the output, the unnamed zero column is being has been removed. All right, now our data is clean and it is ready for linear regression. For simple linear regression, let's consider only the effect of TV ads on sales. Before jumping right into the modeling, let's look at what the data looks like. We use matplotlib, a popular Python plotting library, to make a scatter plot. Let us set a size of the plot, which can be 16, comma 8. Then we generate a scatter plot using the scatter function, in which we have the TV ads and the sales. Let's color the scatter plot with a black dot with black dots and as you can see there is a clear relationship between the amount spent on TV ads and the sales. Let's see how we can generate a linear approximation of this data. First we convert these values into vectors and then store them into two variables. So x is equal to data of the TV ads their values and we convert them into vectors using the dshape function which is minus 1 and 1 then we do we do, do the same for the sales which is date of sales and their values which are converted into vectors now after this we use the fit function of the linear regression class to fit a line on the x and y values Let's name the variable reg, which is linear regression object. And then we call the fit function on x and y. The minimization of the cost function using gradient descent works behind the scenes here, behind the fit function. To learn more about the cost function and how gradient descent works, you can check out the introduction to linear regression video in the description below. Now, we have fit a straight line to the data set and let's visualize this using a scatter plot again. Now, since the code for visualizing the best fit line is long, I'm going to copy paste it, but the entire code will be available in the GitHub repo. Now here, first we predict all the values on the X uh, data set and then we use those predictions to make a line on the scatter plot. Here, the dots will be in black and the line will be in blue. The X label will be the money spent on the TV ads and the Y label will be the sales.
From the graph, it seems that a simple linear regression model can explain the general impact of amount spent on TV ads and sales. This is how we implement linear regression in scikit-learn using the scikit-learn library. If you have any doubts with the implementation, please use the comments to ask the doubts. And also make sure to check the code in the GitHub repo. Thank you.